Real-life Iron Man, Elon Musk, has probably done more in the past two decades to try and shape the way we think about the world than any other entrepreneur out there. PayPal revolutionized the way we think about money online. Tesla challenged the way we think about electric cars and what an electric car should be, not to mention the age-old model of centralized energy generation and distribution. Hyperloop, while not directly something that he's pursuing personally, is trying to bring a new transportation method to the world. And then, of course, there's SpaceX, which is challenging the status quo of multi-trillion dollar government-owned space programs. But that's not all. Musk has, in recent months, played a role in founding two new ventures. OpenAI, a not-for-profit artificial intelligence research company charged with researching artificial intelligence that can exist in harmony with and help humans, and The Boring Company, a company that's anything but. And I'm going to tell you exactly why next. Don't doze off. Hi there, I'm Nikki Gordon-Bloomfield, your tame Brit, and today I'm going to be talking about The Boring Company, Elon Musk's brand new, well, reasonably new company that wants to build massive tunnels under major cities to ease the heavy congestion. Supposedly inspired by the massive traffic jams that plague Los Angeles, the Boring Company's purpose is to design and build underground transportation infrastructure that will help make it easier to travel across cities quickly and easily by car without breaking the mank doing so. So far, the Boring Company has a single tunnel building machine which has been building test trenches 30 feet wide, 50 feet long and 15 feet deep on SpaceX's premises in Los Angeles. But eventually, the company hopes to perfect its tunneling technique and engineering capabilities to such an extent where it could build massive tunnels, multi-layer tunnels, under major cities for a fraction of today's current prices. Of course, building underground has plenty of challenges, from actually making the hole in the first place to figuring out how to ensure proper air throw through all of the tunnels and making sure that any fires or fumes don't spread. To date, there's been no discussion as to how Musk or The Boring Company hopes to tackle this. But this weekend, as part of a special TED interview, Musk showcased the first computer rendering of how The Boring Company would make tunnels far less boring. First up, the tunnels would be built with a series of high-speed rail lines capable of shuttling along electrically powered car-sized cradles at speeds of up to 125 miles per hour, about 200 kilometers per hour. Then, at regular intervals that corresponded with major routes in the world above, there would be special lifts designed to transport cradles between the tracks and the surface. What are the user experience? Well, you'd come up to one of the stations on the surface and drive onto a waiting car cradle. Once parked on the cradle, its ramps would retract and you'd be taken smoothly down to the tunnel beneath. Once there, the cradle, with your car on it, would be whisked away to your chosen destination using electricity. There would be no tunnel emissions, and because the cradles would be computer controlled, there would be minimal risk of accident or injury inside the tunnel. When you reach your destination, the opposite process would bring you and your vehicle back surface side. While the video shared as part of the TED Talk is pretty darn short, it does of course focus on Tesla cars making use of the shuttle, making me wonder if there may even be the future possibility of charging Tesla cars as they travel underground. It also shows a bus-like pod making use of the same network, meaning that autonomous personal transport pods could replace the existing, smelly, noisy and unreliable world of most urban underground systems. Of course, what we've been showed is just a what-if rendering, but there's nothing about the process that seems that far-fetched. And when we consider how many things Musk and his various companies have changed so far, I'm not about to be the one to say it can't be done. Yes, it's going to be difficult, but I reckon if anybody can do it, it'll be Elon Musk. Do you agree? Do you like the idea of traveling underground at high speed in your own car on an automated electric cradle? What would you pay for the privilege? And would it actually save you time on your daily commute? Or do you think that this idea has just too many limitations, such as seismological restriction or risk from water ingress, to ever become a reality? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and tell your friends about the show. And if you've got some feedback, be sure to send it our way. 
In the meantime, enjoy the rest of your day and don't forget to help keep those wind turbines spinning by switching to New Zealand's only Carbon Zero certified renewable electricity company. Thanks for joining me. I'm Nikki Gordon-Bloomfield and until next time, hug a tree. Bye.